What's up guys, I got a brand new video for you today. Today we need to talk about some stuff. It's gonna make a few Fuji owners a little uncomfortable. And I'm just being honest, I work these cameras day in, day out. I use them professionally and I got the X-T2, I got the X-100F, and I used to have the X-Pro2. Now you've seen all my reviews, you've watched my lens reviews, I love the lenses, I love the image quality, but as you know, I took the X-T2 in to get fixed. I don't know, a month ago? And I'm gonna put fixed in quotes because we're having more issues here. But we need to talk about reliability because I've never had a camera that I've had to take in multiple times to get fixed. I shot with Canon 5Ds forever. No problems with any of those cameras. The only thing they ever needed was sensor cleaning and I can do that myself. But this camera right here needs to go back for the fourth time. And to me, that's just unacceptable. Um, you know, I, I love Fuji, I love the quality, but like, they have a huge job coming up next weekend and I'm renting Canon 5Ds because I, I just can't trust the Fuji system right now. I'm not the only one that's having problems. There's lots of people out there. Even my buddy has problems with the camera freezing and locking up all the time. I've had problems with this camera freezing and locking up, but you know, for the most part, when I'm doing portrait shoots, it's not a huge deal. When I've got big events and things where, you know, weddings where you can't go back and reshoot things, you need a camera that can literally just keep going and, and not have issues. And I don't know if it's the new firmware they put on this camera, but I'm having freezing and locking up and I can replicate Wi-Fi freezing every single time. Uh, not a lot of people use Wi-Fi and some people might even say it's kind of a consumer thing but I was shooting a project for a client last week and I was using the camera as an overhead camera to shoot some product photography and I was going to use the iPad app so that I could see what I'm doing overhead and lining up my shots. Used it before in the past and when I switch this into Wi-Fi mode the camera completely locks up and you can't do anything until you take the battery out. Alright so I'm going to show you the Wi-Fi lockup issue so we're going to turn this on. I'm going to go to the menu. We can go down to Wi-Fi, wireless communication, and right here is where it freezes every single time. No matter what I do, it freezes. If I turn the camera off, it just stays on. You can't push any buttons to get out of it. Nothing changes anything. You can't go back to the menu. It literally does this every single time. I can replicate it every single time. I flash the firmware and it still does the exact same thing. So I'm wondering if once they fix my camera, they forgot to hook up the Wi-Fi module or something. But the only way to fix this is to take the battery out, turn the camera back on, and then we're back in. And I mean, if that's happening on my own time, it's not that big of a deal. And a lot of times if I am doing product photography for someone, I'm just working on my own and it's not a big deal. But this time in particular, the client was standing right there the whole time. And here I am fiddling with the camera, trying to get it to work and it's just freezing constantly freezing and I don't really know what to do. So I'm trying not to panic. I'm trying to just, you know, stay professional, but they can tell if something's going on. And you know, that's really unacceptable. I know this camera isn't like a $4,000 camera, but it's the top tier that Fuji has, well, besides the GFX. So I had to pull out the old Canon 6D and I had to finish the job with the Canon 6D because it does have Wi-Fi, and it got me through the job. Now that said, I don't know if they forgot to hook up the Wi-Fi module or something when they fix this camera, but it's gotta go back and I gotta get it fixed because that's super annoying. I'm out of warranty now, which is another thing I'm worried about. Are they gonna charge me to fix it or are they gonna warranty the work because you know it was only a month ago that this thing was just fixed. They apparently replaced the sensor, which is another thing we need to talk about. Um, if we take a look at the computer over here, I'll show you some stuff, just some images after the sensor was replaced and the type of hot pixels that we were getting. All right, so taking a look at some hot pixels, this is common across all of these shots. And this was after the sensor got fixed and you know, whatever, it's fine, I can clone them out. And most cameras have hot pixels. But if we go in here and just take a look at how many hot pixels are in the shot, you're gonna be kind of surprised. So we got one, two, three, there's a red one, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, there's a blue one down here, 10, another one, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, another red one, 16, a white one, another red one, 17, 18, 19. I was at ISO 640. Oh, another one, another one. Like they're literally everywhere. And I remapped the sensor and it got rid of a few, but there's still quite a bit in the shots. And to me, that's just unacceptable. That's just a lot of extra work to edit. And you know, the camera's supposed to be fixed and it's not. Anyway guys, don't let that worry you too much. Maybe I just have like a freak of nature camera. Well, the X-Pro2 had to get fixed as well. The first time I had the X-Pro2, the sensor had a burn spot in it. So I don't know where we're at right now. You know, I love Fuji. 
Uh, a lot of you guys in the comments are like, man, I bought a Fuji X-T2 off your recommendation or X-Pro2. And that's awesome because, you know, I, I do love the image quality, but I just don't know if these cameras are ready for professional use. Um, you've probably heard lots of people review these cameras and go on and on about how awesome they are. But the question is, are those people professional and are they using them every day, in and out, in and out? In the last year, I probably have over 50 to 60,000 shutter actuations on this camera. And, you know, that's, that's quite a bit of use but I've had to have the sensor replaced and I've had to take it in four times. My 5D cameras, you know, those cameras had like 100,000 shots on them and never had to be taken in to get fixed. So I don't know. I don't know where I'm at right now. I'm still gonna keep using these cameras, but I'm gonna have to start renting some Canon stuff again to get me through some of these jobs for the next couple weeks because I'm gonna have to send this in. I'm not sponsored by Fuji, so they're not gonna give me loaners to replace this thing. I'm gonna ask them and see if they can send me one, but uh, they don't seem to get back to me when I ask them for stuff. I've asked for the X100F to review and three months later goes by and they're like, hey, do you still want an X100F to review? And I'm like, no. They don't seem to really care about me for some reason, which is fine. I'm not anyone special. I just have a small channel. But, you know, like I said, a lot of you guys have said that you've bought cameras off me from my recommendation and that goes straight to their pockets, not to mine. So anyway, hopefully that's not freaking a lot of you out because maybe your cameras are fine and I just have a freak of nature. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, give it a thumbs down twice. Anyway, see you later.